Hi, Susan here. Okay, the secret of the fashion industry no one really talks about. Shh, that's what's next. Okay, what do I mean by that? Well, I'll get to it, guys. Before I do that, if you're new to my channel, my name is Susan Elias. I'm a fashion designer, consultant, teacher, instructor, couturier for over 35 years, and I have an extensive YouTube channel that teaches you everything about fashion design. So I hope that you would stay on, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Let's get started. All right, guys, so I have many videos on different tools that are needed for fashion design, but I want to specifically talk about the secret sauce that is done in the industry that separates the regular brand from the great brands. Okay, let me get into it. So tools are the scissors, the, the sewing machine, the, the, the right kind of iron, the right kind of mannequin, your, your books, your sketchbooks, and all of that. But there are essential tools and there's also people. I want to also stress that there are specific individuals that sets a brand apart from the norm. Let me not get ahead of myself. I don't know if you know in my channel, I have stressed different tools and I have several videos on that. I also stress the huge importance of having the right sloper and the right dress form with the specifically good measurements that are invaluable to any company. Yes, you can go on the internet. Yes, you can see YouTube videos on how to make a sloper, but it is not going to be the same as a tried and true sloper set that has been used in the industry for many, many years. I have that to offer. And the sloper set is, first there's the five piece sloper set, which is the, the front bodice, the back bodice, the straight sleeve, the front skirt, the back skirt. Then you have the torso sloper, which is combining the front and the skirt together for the front half and the back half and the sleeve. There's pants slopers, etc. What makes it different? Well, I've taught and I've also coached and started a lot of companies. And the first thing I always ask when I go into a company is where is your sloper? Where is your dress form? What are your measurements for your brand, for the, for the body of women's wear? And most of the time they have nothing. And I have to start from ground zero. And over the years I have developed this perfect set of measurements and sloper. Otherwise, each company has their own. There isn't a straight sizing that's across the board. Yes, it is kind of hard because of that, but at the same time, that is part of the secret sauce of each design house. Their specific measurements, their amount of ease that they add, and their basic blocks and slopers. So if you want to get mine, I'm going to put a plug. Please check out my website, EliasCouture.com. I sell it on there. And I've had a lot of flack from people in the industry on how cheaply I'm selling my sloper sets. But things have changed, guys, and I want to have as many people to have access as possible. Yes, what separates the regular brand from great brand? Up until, I would say, the last five years, we never heard about the master seamstresses, the master sample hands, the master cutters, the master pattern makers, the master drapers, until now. Back in the day when I started my companies and working for other companies in 20, 30 years ago, we were kept in the back. You were never exposed. You were never noticed. You were never talked about because you know, they were always afraid to give you that much credit, but it hasn't been until I would say the 90s when some of the documentary films, one of which was the Valentino documentary film, that exposed the sample hands for how great they are and gave credit where credit was due. And that was kind of the beginning sparks of the industry starting to show, showcase the different people who are great 
that make their company great in the company itself. When you see these documentaries of Dior and Chanel, where you start to see the drapers interpreting that sketch and interpreting the, the design and making the pattern, cutting it out and then sewing it to the design that is, that is required. Let me explain that further. If you don't already know, designers are not created equal. All designers do not have all the, the skills. Most designers are strong in one to three different skills that are needed as a fashion designer. I myself am pretty strong in the draping and the pattern making and the designing and the fit of a garment. Yes, I'm also proficient in, in sewing, and but I'm not so great, I mean, I'm not proficient or fabulous in my sketching abilities. People think I am, but I don't consider myself a, a, as that. And I don't know how to do the Adobe lines, you know, sheets and stuff like that. So my specialty is I'm strong in that area. Some designers are strong in the sketching and illustrating, but cannot make a pattern. Some cannot make a pattern, cannot sew, or even drape, and they have to rely on great people working for them. Hence, the master draper, the master sample hand, the ones that interpret the designer's sketch, the ones that get, get in the mind of a designer and can, and can elaborate and be in tune with the designer as far as the design itself, the construction of it, the, the nuances of it, the sewing of it. And that only happens with master people who work for you in these companies. So that is pretty much the secret sauce that design houses don't really talk about. Yes, it is good to have the right kind of sewing machine. Yes, it is good to have a special machine if you're making, let's say, swimwear that does just that elastic and does it proficiently and that's all it does. Those things are essential for your company. But the individuals, the people who help make you look great as a company are the secret sauce that not a lot of people talk about. I always say though, if you look at my YouTube videos and if you are part of my community, I will always stress as a designer to learn every aspect of fashion design. Learn how to sew, learn how to make that pattern, learn how to sketch proficiently and give your ideas across. Learn every aspect of the industry and your company, even if you never do those jobs. Why? When you hire those people into your company, you will understand whether they're doing it right or they're doing it wrong and you will not waste money or time. But I do stress if you can do as many of these things on your own as possible, you will lower the cost and you will keep the vision solid. What do I mean by the vision? It is very hard and it, there's only specific individuals that are very proficient and very good at interpreting other people's designs, interpreting their nuances. These are professionals who are very good at what they do. But in general, it is not an easy task. As an assistant designer or a designer in the industry, I was pretty good at interpreting and getting into the mind of the company, the brand, and the designer, and what they wanted. But it was something that I have a gift for. Not many people can do this. Yes, it is in the industry as a whole something that you will strive to do. If you have your own company and you're learning how to get to the next level with your brand, hire and get the best of the best. Learn and understand. I will tell you that some of my best education came from not school, outside of school, working with individuals who were geniuses in their own right and picking their brain and getting to understand the nuances of the specific area of design that I wanted to specialize in. So those things are super important. The tools, the sketchbook, the, the actual how to design books and tutorials and teaching and private lessons and your slopers and your blocks and your patterns and the perfect dress form and knowing your brand and what it represents 
is the most important thing that you can possibly do for your brand to elevate it from just here to way up here and what makes the, the normal brands who they are and what makes the greats who they are it is those special master pattern makers designers sketchers sample hands, fabric designers, makers, stylists even who works on the lines for the fashion show, all of those people who are brilliant at what they do, that's what sets it apart. But I ask you, make sure you give them the credit where credit is due. I hope you like this video. I hope you learned something new about the industry. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share this video with everybody, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. In the last five years. Are you kidding me?